Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given radical equation that involves the cube roots as you can see over here. So we are going to solve this cube root of x plus 28 minus, once again another cube root, x minus 28 equals to 2. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. So for the sake of simplicity and convenience, let me go ahead and call this part an A. We are going to use a substitution method, this A, and this part I am going to call B. And here I have just copied down this first cube root. I'm going to call A equals to the cube root of x plus 28. And here I have copied down the second cube root and I'm going to call this one b equals to cube root of x minus 28. And now since this is an a and this is a b, so then I can write simply a minus b equals to 2. So I can write a minus b equal to 2. This is our very first equation. I'm going to call this equation number one. Now let's focus on this equation over here. Let me take the cube on both sides to undo this cube root. So we got a power three equals to this cube and cube root is gone. We got x plus 28. So far so good. And likewise, I'm going to take the b cube on this side as well to undo this cube root. So we got over here b power 3 equal to this cube and cube root is gone. So we got x minus 28. And here I have just copied down these two equations right over here. Let's go ahead and subtract this one. I'm going to do a power 3 minus b power 3 that means I'm going to subtract this one this become negative this become positive these are gone so we got simply 56 so I can write this one as this thing as a power 3 minus b power 3 equal to 56 and I'm going to call this as an equation number two and here's our action plan first of all we will find these a and b values once we figured out a and b values then we are going to solve for x and here's our very first step let's recall this the difference of two cube formula a cube minus b cube equals to a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square so we recall this formula let's go ahead and fill in the blanks right now so a power 3 minus b power 3 is 56 over here i'm going to replace it by 56 equal to a minus b in our case from equation 1 is 2 times we are going to just leave it this one a square plus a b plus b square now let's divide both sides by 2 over here so we are going to get this thing 28 equal to a square plus a b plus b square so i can write this one over here i can write this one as a square plus a b plus b square equal to 28 and i'm going to call this as an equation number three and here is our next step let's recall this a minus b cube formula a minus b power three is a cube minus three a square b plus three a b square minus b cube let me go ahead and rearrange this right hand side i'm going to combine these first a power three minus b power three and let me go ahead and write these one as I can come 
I can factor out minus 3ab outside. I can write a minus b and on the left hand side it is a minus b power 3. So far so good. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We know a minus b in our case is 2. I'm going to replace this one by 2. a cube minus b cube is 56. I'm going to replace this one by 56 and once again a minus b is 2. Let's go ahead and substitute those values. So therefore this become 2 power 3 equal to 56 minus 3 times a b times 2. Let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 8 equal to 56 minus 6 a b let's move this 56 on the other side 8 minus 56 equal to negative 6 time a b so we got negative 48 equal to negative 6 a b let's divide both sides by negative 6 and negative 6 so that means our a b value turns out to be 8. So let me go ahead and just write down a times b we figured out equals to 8 and let me call this as an equation number 4 right up here. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation 3. And here I have just copied down equation 3a square plus ab plus b square equal to 28. Let me go ahead and replace this ab by this 8. Let me just do this one. So a square plus 8 plus b square equal to 28. Let's move this 8 on the right hand side. So we got a square plus b square equal to 28 minus 8. So that means a square plus b square turns out to be 20. Let me go ahead and copy down this one over here a square plus b square equals to 20 and let me go ahead and call this equation 5 we need all these equations to find the value of a and b now in this next step let's recall this well-known a plus b square formula which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now over here on the right hand side I have rearranged this a square and b square. I put it together over here and we know a square plus b square in our case is 20 and we know a b is 8. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we can write a plus b square equal to 20 plus 2 times 8 so that's going to become 20 plus 16. So we got a plus b square equal to 36. Let's do the, uh, the square root to undo this square. So we're going to square root both sides. So this square and square root, they are gone. So we got a plus b equal to, that is going to give us positive or negative 6. So that is our a plus b value. Thus I have copied down this a plus b equal to positive or negative 6. So we have got enough material to solve for a and b now. And now in this next step let's consider this case 1 when our a plus b is positive 6 over here. And moreover I have just copied down this equation 1 as well. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations to solve for a. If we add them, we are going to get 2a, b and b is gone, this negative b. We got 8, so that means a value turns out to be 4, isn't it? Let's plug it back, this a power, a value 4 over here. If we plug it in this thing, that is going to give us b equal to so far so good. So for first case our a value turns out to be 4 and b is 2. 
Now let's consider our second case when a plus b is negative 6 where I just put it down over here and now we are going to repeat the same process. I have just copied down a minus b equal to 2 from here equation 1. Now let's go ahead and add these two equations. If we add these one we're gonna get 2a equal to negative 4 so our a value turns out to be negative 2. Let's go ahead and plug it this back in any one of these equations to find the b value. And we can see that b turns out to be a negative 4. So for our case 2, we got this second set of a and b values. a is negative 2 and b is negative 4. So finally we have got enough information to solve for x now and here's our final step. Let's pick this a equal to 4 value and let's plug it in, substitute in this equation and here I have copied down that equation. Let's fill in the blank. So a replacing by 4. So 4 power 3 equals to x plus 28. So 4 power 3 is 64 equal to x plus 28. And here I simplified. I moved this 28 on the left hand side. So x turns out to be positive 36. And here I wrote down x equal to positive 36 is one of our solutions. And now let's pick a equals to negative 2 values and let's substitute in this equation once again. So this is going to become negative 2 power 3 equals to x plus 28. Negative 2 power 3 is same as negative 8 equal to x plus 28. And here I have simplified everything by just moving this 28 on the left hand side. So our x value turns out to be negative 36 this time. So thus our another value of x turns out to be negative 36 this time. So thus our final solution turns out to be with the two values x equal to positive or negative 36. And as you have noticed that we only use these a values, if you want to use b values, b equals to 2 and b equals to negative 4, still you're going to get the very same solution. And here as a courtesy, I used b equal to 2 and b equal to negative 4 values over here as well. And as you can see, we got the very same solutions. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.